Eurovision greetings, welcome back to my channel. I have a friend of mine that is very distracting me. That is very distracting me. What kind of English is this one? <laughs> it's very distractful and then distracts my mind and then I can't speak English properly anymore. Let me focus. <clears throat> Eurovision greetings and welcome back to my channel once again for the last song standing in the second semi-final. It's Sweden and uh, last year um, a million voices, voices came onto the stage. I gave it 8 points and a half out of 12. Um, the song was good but it's at a certain point kind of forgettable. For me in the final I I think I remember all the 25 songs, but I couldn't remem remember the 26th, which was Sweden. Uh, she was not the last one to perform, but you know what I mean. But um, the song was okay. I think Sweden has high standards and we are always expecting something amazing from them. So when it's kind of below that level, um, the juries or the televotes, or both of them, tend to dislike it a little bit. But Cornelia Jacobs, it's the name of the singer, Hold Me Closer, the song. And I'm very, very curious about this entry. I haven't heard it yet, but I saw some of the comments on, on social media and people seem to like it. And I think it's a ballad, but I'm very, very interested to hear it. So uh, without anything more to say, let's start in one, two, three. Cause there's nothing to regret National final performance I assume Well this is not what I wanted Guess all the good things come to an end So baby bye bye Wish you the best Most of all I wish that I could love you less Or maybe you're right I'll find someone else You say it isn't me But when did that ever help? Hold me closer I'll go and leave For the sunrise Might be bleeding But don't you mind I'll be fine Oh, you accuse me I found the right one at the wrong time Run into the sunrise Hold tight, hold tight Maybe very nice voice. She tells the story perfectly. I like the lyrics. Oh, the arrangement. into the song emotionally vocally Yeah, I can't understand, like, she doesn't want tomorrow. <laughs> like, um, Guy Sebastian. I don't want tomorrow. She wants to stay there with him at night and enjoy 
because she knows when the money comes, he will disappear. Um, so she just wants him to hold her closer. Um, very, very warm. I, I could feel like, in comparison with so many other performances I've seen um, of this year's Eurovision, that she can really interpret it, the, her song. And um, I felt it was very, very natural. That's that what that's what I thought about it. Almost like visceral, and I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I think that the song might not be, you know, nothing really outstanding, but the way she performed it was spectacular. And maybe in two or three weeks, I'll be also saying, "What the hell did I say three weeks ago?" Because this song is <laughs> one of the best ones uh, for me. It's just great, you know. And I'm really torn here, but I think I'll go with a safer uh, choice. I'll give it seven and a half points um, because, you know, I'm still trying to know this song a little bit more, but definitely got me um, lyric wise, performance wise, and vocally, she had something there that was really special. So well done to Sweden. Let me know what did you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. And she's a bit.